Claudine Lewis, respiratory therapy student, here to go over some vent um, setup with y'all. So let's say we have a, I don't know, 14 year old um, young boy who was skateboarding and um, tried to do one of those cool things where you go down the rail and messed it all up and was not wearing a helmet or anything else like elbow pads, knee pads, whatever, and screwed up and um, He's hit his chest on the railing and he's hit his head with, on the cement with no, um, no uh, helmet on. I'll get there in a minute. So let's thank chest trauma and intracranial pressure or uh, closed head injury because we don't know any different. He's coming in via EMS. Um, his ideal body weight should be, uh, he's 14, he's probably my height. Um, let's say 60 kilograms. Going. So we're going to set that to 60. All right. So we have no idea whether it's um, a head injury or um, what. We know it's coming via EMS. Um, let's pick something. Let's go. Let's go volume. Um, he should have normal lungs. Um, I don't know his level of consciousness, so that's not going to be a work. Um, as long as I set a high enough rate. 100% O2, respiratory time, let's do one second. Okay. Let's do a frequency of 14, because I'm not real sure what's happening. P for 5, pressure support of 5, that should work just fine. Um, at the ventilation, the alarm's on. Trigger 1.9. That work. Auto flow is on. Perfect. So we're going to start. SINB, auto flow pressure support. Perfect. So I've set a rate of 14. Alarm limit. I'm going to relation on 9. Work. Just on that. Um, so this will work until we figure out if we have um, an issue with intracranial pressure or if we have a flail chest because um, they're going to have to do CTs and x-rays for us to find out. So this will work for now. Um, and which I mean I could go to a different volume mode if I want to. And it will still have the same parameters. Let's go control. Perfect. So um, we're going to document all this good stuff. We're going to document um, what size ET tube was used. It's probably going to be a little, I don't know, he probably still is my height at 14, or he could be a littler guy. So it could be like a six and a half tube. It could be like 20 at the lip. Um, anyway, uh, document that. Document um, all my initial settings uh, that I have 100% O2. Um, my alarm settings and limits, um, get an ABG, chest x-ray, listen to lung sounds, all of that good stuff. Um, do an assessment of the chest. Is it rising nice and even? Is it weird on one side? Like, is it sinking in and the, uh, the rest of it's coming out? Who knows? Um, that would be like a flail chest. So um, just keep watching the patient. Uh, Listen over the trachea, listen to both um, sides of the chest, chest x-ray, all that good stuff. Document everything. Document what mode we're on, what tidal volume we're getting, what tidal volume is set. Um, the set is over here, and then um, what you're actually doing is over on this side. So, eh, that's not. It's really close. Um, what my highs and lows are, what O2 I'm on, whether they need suctioning, whether they need um, oral suctioning in addition to ET tube suctioning. Uh, do I need to get a sputum sample right when I, you know, right when I suction? Um, that's really neat. A little thing that just hooks in, in line and um, is gross. Uh, you know, do they need blood cultures and all that kind of stuff? Um, and, and look at those values and see how things are going. Do I need to change any settings after an hour or so? Um, 
to see where things are, which honestly, this kid would get flown out from here. Um, I think that covers it. Yeah, I can start a breath. Where's my trigger? I'm having a hard time um, triggering the breath. It was on almost two. So we're going to turn it down one. Check. That's easier. There we go. That's nice. Um, that, I think, does it. Um, I can't think of what else to document. I mean, if you get sputum, you have to document what color and how much, and if it was thick, and if it was thin, and if it had blood tinge or not. Okay. Oh, I know how to fix that. Hold on. It's not liking my minute, my minute ventilation settings. Alarm. Minute ventilation. Really? Fine, it's going a little higher. Boom. Okay. Um, perfect. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else to say. I think that covers it. I'm pretty sure. Thank you.